Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Saito Puddle, and today I'm diving into Satisfactory. So far today, well, not today, but so far, I have played through the tutorial portion, the Tier 0, upgrades 1 through 5, played through that. It's just a tutorial to teach you how to play. I have also done the personal storage portion of Tier 1, and I gotta say, this game's pretty freaking awesome. So one of the things I've done I built an iron extractor and this leads all the way over here to this machine which melt, smelts it. This one turns it into, I think I've got a set to co uh, iron plates right now. This one does copper, smelts it, turns it into wire and then stores it in their respective container. What's really cool is, is when you start the game, they tell you that you need to, or you should, build your your base in a place that's really close to multiple different kinds of material. And being the incredibly intelligent person I am, I did not do that. So I had to come up with a way to get, I probably should pick these up, I actually need these. had to come up with a way to get copper over there. So my closest copper deposit was up here. Come over here. Picking these up because you turn those into biofuel and then I use it to power my generators. Nope, can't make it. So here's copper. So I got my extractor. He's doing his due diligence and digging some crap up for me. And then you can... So what it said, if I understood it right, is you can only connect four, four of these together before you can't do it anymore. So I had to really push the line of how far they would go to get my power from all the way over there. And actually, it works pretty well. So let's go down here. Oh, what are these cute little guys? I don't know what they are. They look like sandfish. So what I did is I got that this linked all the way over to there. And what I really screwed up in the beginning was each of these can have four things plugged into it. Or I should say three things plugged into it and then it's connection back to the generator. When I first started playing, I linked this or a, a machine to the generator. And at that point, you can only do one. You have to break them down. I need to get, one of my generators is out of fuel, so I gotta get the fuel for that. So we gotta make biomass leaves. We'll just do make the leaves one. Cause you can see that I need it cause this, this is stopped. And this one's out of, out of juice. You can see the red line right there. So put some fuel in there. Where is that? Right there, biofuel, biomass. <clears throat> Everything starts up, and you can also see this number goes up because that's how many machines I got running on it. It can do a, should do 20 max. If you go over that, it gets worse, supposedly. It's what the game tells me. I don't actually know. Apparently, this one's out of fuel, too. So let's just make this one. I'm a little, oh, wow, that didn't make very many. So hopefully it lasts a lot longer. Where is it? So this guy right here is like the first version of that. And the only reason why I don't collect anything from him is because this guy's just got a constant influx of stuff for me. So there's no real need for it. One of the things that also happens is once you get done with the tutorial, you gain access to the MAM, which is means something and it's not memory. And you can like study with the machine you can scan different things that you find I've done two alien carapaces and one nut so far barrel nuts can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier 1 
put a little bug in there. We'll put this one in there. I haven't done him before. You can see over here, you can see him scanning it, doing, you know, crazy abduction type anal probing. And this is my sweet little house that uh, has a really uncomfortable looking bed, unless you like prison. And uh, no kitchen. I mean, there's a sink, but that's it, I guess. So now that I've done those couple things, explained what I have done, now we need to talk about what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is, is basically I need to do each of these things. So I need to collect these different materials, which is the point of the machines, is to build them to do all this work for you while you run around and play the game. So we're going to do, actually, you know what? We're going to do object, object. Object scanner nut because it's already done. Put five of them in there. I'm gonna launch this dude off to the moon. I think I gotta wait for a while for that to come back. So while I'm waiting, I can either make conveyor walls, I can either make. Oh, hell yeah, that's awesome. I was actually just wondering how I get these. So what these do is right now my conveyors only go one to one to one. You can't combine different types of items. You can't do any of that. With these, I can. So let's do that one first. Let's track this one because that's a pretty big deal. Now before we get too crazy, I think I actually have a lot of these items. So 100 plates. I need 200 plates. Let me sort this real quick. So I need 15 more plates. I need a shit ton more tubes. Holy cow. And I've got more than enough wire. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dig this guy up. So what I need to do is I need to make another one of these to dig up this iron so I can make two different kinds of iron parts at once. It gives me a little bit further away point of view. It's a little weird, but, but it should be fine. So the first things first is i got to build another... God, I hope it'll let me put it there. This stupid robot I can't pick up anymore. So I need to build. So I got that. So what I need to do is I need to build the miner. Okay, so I can do that. No big deal. No? Well, let me... Well, God damn it. Really? I can't get rid of this thing? Oh, God. Oh, my God. <sighs> Believe it or not, I spent two and a half hours playing yesterday trying to figure out how to pick that stupid-ass thing up. And uh, apparently that's how you do it. So there we go. So there's going to be a lot that has to go into this so I can start building my, my copper tubes. Or iron tubes, whatever the hell they are. Is I need to build the equivalent parts here and build another generator for it. So it's, uh, there's definitely a lot, of little, a lot of steps that go into this. But the first part we're going to build is we're going to build the smelter. Because that's step one. And we're gonna, just going to build it right there. And then we also need our... Constructor. So let's connect them all together now. So this part's pretty easy. Nope. So you gotta click on the this thing. There we go. Oh, that's stupid. Why'd I build it that way? Let's try this again. There we go. And now we also need one more thing. We need this storage box. Put these conveyor belts up. There we go. So all that's really left now is, is we've got all the parts built, but now we got to get it some power. And I know that it seems deceiving because these are moving, but that's not power yet. 
Go to the power. I need a biomass burner. Right here in the middle of, of the whole thing. And then I need to build a power pole. So I'm going to put that right here. And now I got to connect all of these to the power pole first. Otherwise it won't, I won't have enough power. And then one of these to that guy. And what's cool is it doesn't actually make you walk all the way over there. You just, you just kind of have to be close enough to aim at it and then connect it to the power. So you can see it says can't connect any more lines to this. So now I need to put some fuel in there. At least I might have to go get some. I might have to go pick some plants really quick. Oh, apparently this ran out of freaking fuel also. Dang it. So that's one of the things I need to unlock is the more efficient fuel. Okay. There we go. So it's not very efficient to use the leaves. It's not efficient at all. So I'll probably have to... Where'd it go? Fill these up multiple times. But as you can see, now my drill is starting up. And this is going to allow me to make far more... Well, automate the process, really, is, is what I'm going to do. I'm going to automate the process. And then I got this one. This one's making rods now. So I got enough rods, so I need to make metal sheets. So this one needs to make metal sheets, or the iron sheets specifically. And I'm just going to let this do its thing for a while, and... Oh yeah, that should last a while. Although these machines are pretty goddamn hungry. Might as well find the one that's not quite at 100. Okay. So basically where I'm at right now is I need to get... Whoops, wrong button. I need 37 more sheets. Let's see how many I've made so far. So I've got more than enough now to complete that objective. So we'll go over here and we'll turn it in. So we go over here to the the hub terminal and we give it what it wants what it really really wants and then we launch that shit into space milestone reached conveyor belts can now merge and split to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory the productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization So let's figure out the next milestone. So we need 150 sheets, 150 rods, 500, which I think we're pretty close to having that already. No, we're not. The wire, yeah, but but that's about it. This is probably done too. Yep, nice. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fixit technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty, pretty powerful. Let's do that one because I can make that one right now. Send that shit in space too. Let's do one more milestone for this video. So let's go ahead and knock out this one because the biofuel is important, important, and I did try to start it already. So right now I'm keeping my eyes out for the glowy green slugs because they're what let what lets me overclock. They're what's they let me overclock everything. Blah 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 blah. Oh, oh, what's this? I don't think so, buddy. They haven't come up with a better way to fight those guys yet. Just take the hits. They did a really good job, though. making Just making this place look so beautiful. Distance, the sky, it's good. It's a good game. Might as well take the wood while it's here. Wow. 
Wow. I wonder what that's for. There we go. I bet there's something cool up here since it's actually making me climb for it. Fuck off, Wood. You're going to make me fall. I wonder what these are for. So goddamn cool. And there we go. There we have it. Launch these biatches into space again. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure. Additionally, the biofuel blueprint will ensure improved fuel consumption of biomass burners. Additionally, you can now build the space elevator, which is integral to your contribution to project assembly. All right, everybody. So I appreciate you watching today. Hope you enjoyed. Went through some of the tier one objectives, challenges, missions, whatever you want to call them. I also showed you my beautiful, beautiful factory where I make rods, sheets of metal, wire, and kill the ozone. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video.